comes the Border Patrol. Oh. On the Mexican border. Oh. The Canadian border. Oh. The Pacific coast. The Atlantic coast. The Gulf of Mexico. Oh. 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 The Border Patrol is on the job, guarding our boundaries by land and sea, by day and night. Uncle Sam Sentinel. Last week we showed you how Pedro Lopez, his wife and little girl, fell into the hands of El Chueco and Molino, notorious smugglers of aliens who convinced the bewildered people that they would have to be smuggled into Flagstaff, Arizona. This family became law violators through the treachery of the smugglers as being pursued by Walter Miller and Nick Burtage of the Border Patrol. They have just stopped Molino in his red and tan two-tone car returning from Flagstaff after having left the Lopez family there. Nick and Walter Miller are discussing the object which they found in the back seat of the car. Well, I've fixed this doll from wig to booty. And I can't see that it was used for smuggling anything. Now, I got a hunch, Nick. Molina wants to smuggle in Lopez and his family. Well, it looks like it. Probably had them hide out in Mexico until they were ready to leave. Well, we're getting to the outskirts of playing staff now, Nick. I know some people here we can make inquiries for us while we prowl around a bit looking for Lopez. Yeah, a little bird told us that Pedro used to work in La Madera, which can mean the woods, sawmills, or one of the lumber yards. Yeah, well, that's enough to turn on. Miller and Nick, dressed as ordinary ranchers, go from sawmill to lumber yard to timber camp to sawmill and back again. But they can't locate anyone named Lopez, who fits the description of a cross-eyed man, pockmarked, Short and stocky. Uh, we're getting nowhere past, Walter. I don't know which way to turn. Why, Nick, what's the matter? It's the first time in my life I've ever seen you discouraged. Well, it's enough to make anybody discouraged. Lopez is such a common name around here. He's checked on a lot of them, but no luck. And don't forget, Pedro Lopez, American brother, was a tough egg. Hey, that's the answer, Nick. Everybody's scared to death of him. They're afraid to talk. Yeah? Well, what do we do next? we got about five more mills from camps to cover. Hey, I've got an idea. Now, at this next sawmill, we'll try something new. Money talk. If they think there's money in it... Well, you the boss this outfit? Yeah. What do you want? No jobs today. At all I'm going to need. I'm not looking for a job. I'm an insurance man. Oh. Well, I don't want any insurance either. Well, I'm not selling any insurance. I'm looking for a man named Pedro Lopez. Doesn't he work here? What do you want to know for? Oh, well, I got a policy here left by a man named Lopez down in Mexico. I'm looking for his only relative, a man with the name of Pedro Lopez. He's got quite a lot coming to him when I find him. I thought he might be working here. Uh, I don't know. You know how it is, mister. We we'll hire what we need every day and pay him off. Don't keep much track of the man. But I'd like to help you, though, so I'll spread the word around. See if you think it'll help. Yeah, it might. Okay, I'll tell the form. Now watch this, Nick. You know, I think that's pretty darn clever. Now all we have to do is to wait right here. The grapevine will spread the news. You be seen your testimony, eh? Yeah, my nombre is Lopez. Hey, Lopez. What do you think, Nick? No, he's not the man we're looking for. Is he for me? My name Lopez. I call myself. Now you want the man. My name is Lopez. You're not the man. My name is Lopez. Not the man. Lopez too. Not the man. Not the man. Lopez. 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 Plenty of Lopez's, but none fitting the description. Senor, oh yeah. Man named Lopez go to big timber camp. Maybe easy one, huh? Yeah. What did he look like? Oh, he's a little man, cross eye, marks on face. Hey, that's the one. Yeah. Well, where is this camp? Go down the road and turn at San Jose Ranch. He's, he's last out on road, near camp, past the creek. Oh, at last we're getting somewhere. Come on, let's go. Gracias, amigo. Mm, de nada, senor. This Pedro Lopez is like. If he's a Rotero, it's funny we never heard anything about him before. That's not so funny. It's, it's Pedro Lopez's name may be an A there. He <laughs> might be any one of those tough babies we're trying to trip up. Yeah, we're almost there now. There's the creek. Hey, that last house, the end of the road there. What's the man? Isn't that a man standing in the doorway? 
Yeah. Yeah. Say, the brazen cuss, isn't he? Yeah, from here he fits the description all right, too. Watch it now. Yeah. Where in the stairs, senor? Your name Pedro Lopez? He, he, senor. It's my name. It doesn't look so dangerous to me. Yeah, just the same. I'm set to get the drop on if he starts anything. How long have you lived here in Arizona, Mr. Lopez? Oh, a long time. A long time. For 25 years, I, I lived here. Uh, maybe 30 years. Uh, weren't you in Mexico some of that time? Oh, no. No, no, no senor. Please do believe me. <laughs> Hello, kid. What's your name? Hello, senor. Hello, senor. Is your doll? Where you been get that? In the back of a red and tan car. The man who was driving it was Molino. He, he tells you. He tells you to shoot me. Molino make me give him ten more dollars in American money. So he no tell you. Yeah, the old blackmail guy. Oh, I, I am glad it is over. I have been most miserable of men. Never before have I done something so wrong. I, I am sorry only for my little Dolores. Yes, is this your little girl? Oh, si, senor. She, she is American citizen and, and should not be shot. And my wife, Rosa. Oh, poor Rosa. She was to get me out of this one soon. Now Rosa will be shot. For my baby, it will never see the light of day. Never. Rosa. Oh, Rosa, come hey, here. Hey, Miller, Rosa. this is not a soft story. This is a real thing. Yeah, I know. I wonder how they got in this thing, Matt. The kid could get over anyhow. If he's an American citizen, the folks seem okay. But now they're guilty of illegal entry. Pedro, these men, where are they? It is trouble. They, they, they come to shoot us like Molino. Oh, said. No, 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 don't be a no. fool, Lopez. We're not going to shoot you. No? But that? But, but as you wait on Molino, they tell us we will be shoot. Maybe you want a thousand dollars, no? Or oh, what thousand dollars? They tell me the immigration would take a thousand dollars. It's a new law, you understand? I, I have no thousand dollars. Now, listen, Pedro. You've been fooled. There's no law that says you have to pay a thousand dollars to anybody. But El Chueco and Molino... El Chueco and Molino are two of the worst smugglers along the border. And uh, I pay them. I pay them seventy-five dollars. And the ten dollars Molino, too. You take my dollar, please. Would you know Molino if you saw him again, Pedro? Oh, yes, I know. Ah, good. You can help us. We want you to identify Molino. If we can get a case against him, we can stop this smuggling and blackmail racket. You mean? You mean we will not be shooting? Oh, forget about that shooting. We don't go around shooting people in this country, Pedro. But we'll have to take you to Nogales. Oh, yes, I know. Yes. Uh, Rosa, uh, pack up at once. Back up again, oh, Pedro. Oh, dear me, I cannot, I assure you. Not yet near the time, my Rosa. I do not know. I think maybe I am so tired. My wife, you see, does not feel so good. What we do? We we have the American doctor who is to take care of my Rosa. I will take her someplace where she'll be comfortable. Better leave Dolores with her, too. She won't run away with her. Dolores is good, girl. She's American citizen. I'm all wrong, you. You good man. You bring back my sister. I do what you say. Okay, folks. We'll take your wife and kids and some friends of ours, Pedro. Then you come with us to Nogales. What you do with my husband in Nogales? Oh, we'll take good care of him. He'll be back safe and sound in a couple of days. No, understand, Pedro. Immigration. They're not bad men. No, the border patrolmen are not cruel and heartless. Although they have strict laws to enforce, they believe in justice under the law and not persecution. For instance, Miller and Nick look after Rosa and Dolores, see that they're comfortably housed and well cared for, while they take Pedro to Nogales to give evidence against Molina. On the way, they try to convince this simple Mexican that the Border Patrol really isn't trying to trick him. Don't look so woe begone, Pedro. You aren't going to hurt you. Why don't you crawl him in the back seat and get a wink of sleep? You are so kind to me, Senor. El Chueco and Molina say the Border Patrol was to shoot people. They say you have pictures of Pedro on wall like, like, like Batman. They say you take much money. Why they say that, Pedro? <laughs> I guess they never took the trouble to get acquainted with us, Pedro. But if you help us out, they'll get to know us much better.
Uh, we're pulling into Nogales. You think the boys will have Marino corralled by the time we get there? Uh, we ought to. We sent that telegram back there to give them plenty of time. We ordered the warrant for his arrest. We, we did, senor. Yes, it's up to you now, Pedro. Uh, this is the jail, Pedro. You go into that room. The boys left Molino in there. No, he hasn't got a gun. We're right behind you. Who's that? Oh, hello, Lopez. What have they got you in for? Pedro, is that the man who smuggled you and your family across the border? He, senor. He, he's the man. Oh, oh. Sorry, I made a mistake. Thought you were someone else. Molino, is this the man who paid you $75 to smuggle him and his family across the border? Nah. From the minute I saw, I knew him. Never saw him before in my life. He is the one, senora. I swear by all the saints, he is the hombre. He, he has a scar across his nose. I remember. Oh, he's crazy. Look and see if he has big ring on right hand. I saw big red ring on man who drives to fight them. Uh, he, he put hand in pocket. He's lying, I tell you. You got nothing on me. Come on, come on, Molino. You know better than that. I always heard you were a fellow with a lot of nerve. And now you're caught, you can't take it. Oh, yes, I can't. Nobody can say Molino is yellow. Well, you haven't got nerve enough to admit what you've done. Who says I haven't got enough nerve to admit it? Sure I have. I got him across the line on the 4th of July. And that's not so easy. But Molino never failed. I got him safe across and even drove him all the way to Flagstaff. Uh, So Molina's vanity made him confess and enabled the Border Patrol to break up his unsavory racket. Now, even though Mr. and Mrs. Lopez and their little girl had entered illegally, the Border Patrol knew that they were not to blame. If El Chueco and Molino hadn't told them a tall story and scared them to death, they could have been admitted into the United States with no trouble at all. Now that they had become lawmakers, rather lawbreakers through no fault of their own, they were to be dealt with. But if the Lopez family were deported for illegal entry, they probably would never be able to come into the country again. But the Border Patrol found a way out. They made arrangements so that the whole family could be admitted legally through the American Immigration Office. The Border Patrol tries to alleviate as much suffering in these cases as possible. This story illustrates only one of the many cases of aliens falling into the hands of smugglers through misinformation and paying needless sums of money to be smuggled into the country. But there's a sequel to this story. About a week later... Hey! Hey, Walker! Come out there a minute! Whoa! Whoa! Why no sales? You know what I mean? Why no sales, Pedro? Well, uh, what the... Well, hello, Pedro. You look very happy today. I am so... so happy. I wrote that... Give me a son this morning. I name him Nick for this so nice senor. <laughs> And I bring you tamales to celebrate, like on Christmas. It's Christmas for us. We're so proud to be in America with two Americanos in the house. Say, did you drive all the way in just to tell us the good news? Yes, senor. You take the trouble to be good to us. Well, thank you, Pedro. <laughs> oh, what's the matter with you, Nick? Oh, excuse me, Walter. I've got something caught in my throat. Oh, congratulations, Pedro. I'm, uh, I'm very proud. Oh, gracias, senor. And now I must go back to me.